Russian military constantly attack civilians of Kherson with drones who, because of this type of terror, try not to move around the city unnecessarily. This is written by the American publication The Wall Street Journal, which talked to the city residents. Thus, 38-year-old grocery store clerk in Kherson, Olga Chernysheva, said that she tries to stay home more because she has already been attacked by enemy drones twice. During the first incident, the woman was outside, hearing the buzzing of an FPV drone. She managed to run into her house and the grenade hit her car. Olga received minor injuries. A few weeks later, the woman was forced to hide under a tree so that the drone would not notice her. And at the end of October, she watched from the window of her house as a drone dropped a grenade on a car parked nearby. The publication notes that before the full-scale invasion of the Russian Federation, the population of Kherson was almost 270,000 residents. Now it is less than a quarter. According to local authorities, since the beginning of July, more than 7,000 drone attacks have been carried out in the city, as a result of which almost 600 civilians were injured, 50 were killed. The WSJ notes that drone attacks on city residents indicate Russian intent to kill them, although Moscow has consistently claimed that its targets are military. Some Kherson residents suggest that the enemy may be using people as targets to train drone pilots. Videos published in Russian public groups show drones monitoring pedestrians for several blocks before dropping grenades on them. Ukrainians have also published videos of Russian drones with ammunition flying near residential buildings. These attacks have changed the lives of Kherson residents. They are afraid to go out on the street once again, try to stand under trees, not drive a car, but walk, because when a drone appears, they can quickly hide in a shelter. State Emergency Service Representative Vladimir Siktor confirms that it has become more difficult for people to move around the city. Enemy drones are also attacking rescue vehicles. He said that a drone recently crashed into the roof of a building that was being repaired by state emergency service employees after an artillery strike. One of them injured his spine as a result of the fall and another received shrapnel wounds. To combat enemy drones, cars with anti-drone systems are driving around the city. However, the authorities are calling on citizens to evacuate as it is difficult to guarantee safety in such conditions. As a result of an innovative special operation, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine managed to defeat the Russian flotilla in the Caspian Sea for the first time. The distance from the state border of Ukraine to the target is about 1,500 kilometers. As Union Media Outlet was informed by intelligence sources, the attack with the help of kamikaze drones took place on the morning of November 6. As a result of the UAV strikes, at least two objects in the city of Kaspiysk, in the Republic of Dagestan were damaged. In particular, these are probably the missile ships Tatarstan and Dagestan. Small missile ships of Project 21631 were also probably damaged. According to media reports, coastal troops, including Marines, are based at the damaged facility. The attacked flotilla launched missile strikes against Ukraine, and the 177th Marine Regiment took part in battles in the Kherson and Zaporizhia regions. Also, according to the source, as a result of the operations, the airport in Makhachkala has also been suspended. Andriy Kovalenko, the head of the Center for Counteracting Disinformation of Ukraine says that the port in the Russian city of Kaspiysk was attacked. In particular, according to Kovalenko, ships of the Russian Navy are located in Kaspiysk. Kaspiysk is the main base of the Red Banner Caspian Flotilla of the Russian Navy. It is located in Dagestan, 15 kilometers from Makhachkala. According to open sources, Russian coastal troops, including the naval infantry, are stationed here. The garrison consists of about 1,500 personnel. In particular, the following are located in Kaspiysk, a landing pad where ships and hovercraft, previously part of the 242nd Landing Ship Division, are stationed. These vessels, no longer part of the fleet, are used for marine infantry training. Fuel and lubricant bases. An arsenal for coastal troops. A training range. 